And fun fact, there are no apple orchards in Florida, so I can't even go apple picking. Fall was one of my favorite seasons, and we had such an amazing fall when we lived in New York. So we don't exactly get that here in Florida, but I'm gonna figure out ways to romanticize it and make fall feel special, even though we are getting some pretty warm days here in Coral Gables. Since I spent a lot of time in my kitchen, I wanted to add a few fall-inspired pieces that would make me smile throughout my day. The first thing that I added was a resting spoon from Amazon. It has a bunch of pumpkins on it, and it's very on your nose with the fall decor. But because I make a lot of oatmeal, I'm constantly cooking and just using my spatula and just cooking in general, I see it a couple times a day and it brings a huge smile onto my face. It really is the small things that make you happy and excited, I think. Another way I'm romanticizing fall in this warm weather is by cooking with fall spices and fall vegetables. I eat a ton of oatmeal in the morning, so I'm always having like oatmeal with cinnamon and apples and cardamom and cloves and nutmeg. I've been making a lot of fall-inspired granola. That also makes the house smell so delicious, and I've been crumbling that on my yogurt in the mornings and giving a little bit to my son. For my mom's birthday, we made a Swedish cardamom cake. The whole house smelled like cardamom. It was fantastic. And then I'm also eating a ton of fall vegetables, like spaghetti squash, sweet potatoes, again, with a lot of cinnamon, just a lot of root vegetables. You can even go on Pinterest and look up like a fall harvest bowl or fall inspired sheet pan di dinners, things like that. Um, it's great to eat seasonally, and then it's also great to feel like you're getting a warm, cozy dinner that's fall inspired. Another way I'm romanticizing fall in sunny weather is by wearing a lot of fleece and cashmere around the house. We don't keep our AC notoriously high, but the way our house is set up, certain rooms do get colder than others depending on where the sun is and whatnot. So I actually do need to wear a little bit of a sweater around the house. As you can see, I'm wearing this camel colored one. I have a brown fleece that I'm wearing. And yes, it's like a small little nod to fall, but it does get me really excited and make me feel all cozy and excited for the change of the seasons. One of the best ways to romanticize fall when you live in sunny weather is to spend a lot of time in bookstores or coffee shops because they have the AC on pretty high. So I always have to take a sweater with me. Um, I pack one in my bag and I just love spending time like wandering around the bookshelves, picking up a book, grabbing a hot coffee, sitting down and just really enjoying that colder weather inside with a hot cup of coffee. It just, it does feel really special, especially because sometimes it's like 85 degrees outside. I did want to read a fall inspired book to get me into the mood. So I picked up First Frost by Sarah Addison Adler from the Coral Gables Library. It tells a story of the witchy Waverly sisters who live in this small little town in North Carolina. And essentially, the time of fall has arrived and they call it First Frost. And First Frost basically brings a lot of mystery and change into their family. And so the story kind of unfolds and we're following along as there are some new characters, a mystery guy shows up, but we're just kind of waiting for First Frost to arrive so that we can kind of move on from what that dramatic moment is gonna be. Some of the descriptions of fall are just so beautiful that, let me just check my notes, I really wanna read you guys one of them. It looked like the world was covered in cobbler crust of brown sugar and cinnamon. I also picked up this Hello Fall tumbler and even though it is already falling apart a little bit, it's it does kind of put a little pep in my day when I have my morning coffee and I am thinking about getting a mug for next year. Again, these are like really small fall inspired things, but I'm not like a big, big decor person, but little sprinkles of it in my house do make me really happy. I have put out my autumnal candles. I have this, this is actually my favorite one. It is the 
pumpkin souffle candle from Anthropology, and I used to buy like a bunch of them in bulk because it was a seasonal item. So this has come all the way from New York to Florida. Along the lines of fall ambiance, I've been using a lot of Spotify. There's an autumn classical playlist that I have been playing a lot in the background for us every morning. I really enjoy it. My son really enjoys it. It just sets us up for a really great start to our day, and I just love that it has a fall theme to it. It also has the theme song for Practical Magic, so if you grew up watching that movie, you will you will recognize it the minute you hear that song. And I cannot tell you how that just like takes me back. A, to my youth and nostalgia, but also just really sets me in the mood for like a fall vibe. It's kind of insane what like sense and music and visual cues can do for you to get you excited about a particular season. Another way we are kind of romanticizing fall in the sunny weather is on days that I know it's going to be cooler and colder, and yes, there are a few days that it's a little crispier. We've been getting out very early in the morning just to have that colder weather, or we're pushing back our evening walk just a tiny bit so we could get a little bit of the sunset and like wrap ourselves in sweaters as we're walking outside. Any day where I'm like, oh, it's a little bit colder today, we are spending as much time as possible outside because it's just such a rare thing to have like a cold, crisp day in Florida. So when it does get here, I'm like, it's fall. We gotta go. We gotta go outside right now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some inspiration about how to romanticize fall if you are also living in sunny weather. Weather, and I will see you guys in the next video.